Hello everybody, Jardis here. In one of my previous not so secret jumping puzzle videos, I have received a comment from a Simp USA S1 or a Simpusa one. I'm not quite sure how to read that name, so I do apologize. Asking how I get to the starting point of the not so secret jumping puzzle in the videos that I have shown. Well, in the description below, I will also link those videos so that you can reach both the chest or the diving goggles. But to show you how I actually get to that point, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to start at the Broad Hollow Waypoint in Jindarn Fields. And if you have a mount, you can actually use one to get to this location faster. But I'm going to go ahead and you and do it without a mount. For, especially for those who don't have mounts yet, so that they can follow along. But again, if you do have a mount, it would probably be easier and faster for you we to use it this way. We didn't see standing around, did we, Victor? We certainly did not, though I'd prefer it if you called me by my full mm -hmm. title. Uh, apologies, most revered Saint Victor of Zuhelza. Okay. I do apologize for that, but what you're going to want to do is, after you get to that waypoint, you're going to want to come down south until you reach what looks like this little ravine through the mountains. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to jump on these rocks, and we're going to use this jumping pad to get even further up on the sledge. Now this one is a bit tricky, and it may take you a few tries, even for somebody who's played this game for 9 plus years this can be tricky but once you get to this point you're gonna to want to keep jumping and even then again like I said this part is a little tricky which is why I suggest using the mounts instead okay so you're gonna to want to come down just a bit to come out this direction and you're gonna to want to keep going up onto these rocks here and from here you'll see one of these gears now for those of you who for those of you who do not know these gears are a little interesting. They will propel you in whatever direction your character happens to be facing. So you want to make sure you're facing the correct direction before you get onto the gear. We're going to be wanting to go to this ledge here, so we want to make sure our character is facing that direction. Okay. We're going to come up here, and we're going to see another jump pad, and we're going to want to get onto that ledge. Again, it's going to be somewhat tricky. Okay, we're going to go this way, up this little ramp here. And onto this little patch of greenery. If you see this tree, then you know you're in the right spot. Because if you look over into this direction, just to the left of it, there's a little bit of a shimmering graphics that you see there. That's because that's a fake wall, and that's the actual entrance into the jumping puzzle itself. So what we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to go through this wall here. And if you'll notice, there's a hole as soon as you step in. And yes, you will want to go down this hole. But be careful because there's also a jumping pad in case you need to go back up. So you may end up landing on that and get thrown back up. But either way, it's fine. And when you come down here, you're going to notice more of these gears, which, again, you're going to want to make sure you're facing the correct direction before the gears launch you. Now, it, again, if you have a mount, you can actually mount up in here and still be able to use it. But again, I'm going to do this for those newer players. Now, if you, for some reason you end up missing this launch and you end up down here, don't worry. There's a jumping pad back in this direction towards the beginning that will take you back up into that area. Of course, again, this can be tricky. Okay, now once you get to here, there's an invisible wall, as you can just see this person just went through. And I'm going to follow. But you don't want to go too far, because you'll notice some pipes as you get further in. And some of these pipes, right here, 
spew fiery gas, which will give you burning damage if you get hit by them. So you're going to want to wait until they stop spewing. Once you get past that, you're going to want to come up, up to here. Onto this gear and go into this direction. Okay. Then you're going to want to jump onto this triangular shape. And you want to go onto this ledge. And then you're going to use this gear to go through this wall. And again, more steam vents. So you're going to want to be careful when you get to this point. And you're going to want to wait for them to spew first before you try passing them. And when you get to here, you're going to want to go in this direction because this way it's actually just a dead end. There's like really nothing here. I mean, yeah, you can explore a little bit if you want, but it's just a dead end. So anyway, we're going to go down in this direction. And again, we're going to stop because there's a huge vent right here. And once we get past this fence, ta-da, bada-bing, bada-boom, we are at the starting point. Or, I should say, the parts where I started at in my previous videos. So there you go, Simp USAS 1. I hope you enjoy. Feel free to share this information with anybody else who wants to get into this actual jumping puzzle. And I will see you all again in the next video. Happy gaming!